Derivative is one of the most promising field in DeFi. Uh, Ox Alpha will give us some insight of Derry protocol. Please. Uh, hello. Yeah, you, you can hear me good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, actually, yeah. So uh, I was here uh, uh, the the night before uh, yesterday. Um, presenting the other bounty program, and today here I'm uh, presenting another one. Um, actually watching the, the previous uh, three projects, I feel like uh, it's better to present the other one that I did uh, the day before yesterday here. But I mean, well, uh, well, but I'm still going to stick with the original plan because that one was, uh, I already talked about that one because that one was about a game file. Uh, uh, so Dairy Protocol is for uh, is a is a DeFi derivative pro uh, project, right? Uh, we, um, just by the name, you can tell it's a Dairy is for is short for derivative. So um, it's a it's a solution for you to trade uh, futures and options on chain. Uh, so that's that's what we're doing here, uh, pure DeFi. And but the other uh, uh, the, the night uh, before yesterday. I was presenting, uh, so also through this Dora hacks, um, I was, pr uh, cause we're sponsoring two bounty, uh, programs. One is a game five one. The other, uh, the other one is the one I'm, uh, I'm going to present today is the, it's a pure game five. Um, but still, uh, I think, uh, the first step is I'm going to just, uh, very quickly, uh, tell you, uh, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's not the same bunch of people watching today's session and, and the previous one, right? So I'm still gonna very quickly walk you through about uh, how to trade on their protocol, and because uh, because uh, the bounty program uh, uh, is uh, based on this, so that you, you need to first understand how to trade here, then to do the bounty program. Um, okay, so uh, I I I don't have a uh, deck. I will just show you uh, on our website. I will walk you through the transaction procedure uh, just by doing it lightly. Um, let me share my screen. This one. Hello, can you can you see my screen? The the browser. Yes. Uh, okay, cool. Um, actually, let me start. Uh, let me still start from the front page. So uh, this is our front page. The, our, our website uh, is very easy to uh, very easy to remember. Dairy dot finance. Okay. After you go to that, um, yeah. After you go to website, uh, so you can see here uh, um, the first three tabs about the pools is where you do um, uh, where you do liquidity pond mining. You can do liquidity mining with us by prov providing, uh, say, uh, stable coins. Okay, so like this, this pool is the pool on Polygon, uh, and uh, it's, the, it's the one that we're gonna be used for the example. So if you click on the futures, you go to the future trading uh, interface. As you can, uh, here we have, right now we have two, uh, one for the main zone, uh, currently, Maison provides the futures of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and the other one, the Inozone. Inozone is uh, where we uh, exper uh, where, where we exp experiment with all kinds of uh, new and inno innovative uh, trending things. Like uh, uh, actually, these are all uh, like.
like uh, uh, game five ga or ga just game topic uh, uh, tokens futures are like uh, the X Infinity, Alice, Sandbox, uh, Quick Stop. Uh, this one's not about game and Ghost. And this is A Gold, the Adventure Gold of Loot. And uh, actually, yeah, right now our inner zone is more about, uh, it's mostly about the game. Um, so this is our trading interface. Um, I'm just do a very example of how to, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna just uh, do a very example of uh, trading, let's say, let's trade the BTC USD, the Bitcoin perpetual futures here. Okay, so, uh, cause I've already done something here before. I, I, I also, I deposit some margin into uh, the account already. So you can see I have some uh, a tiny little bit of money here, uh, $23. Uh, but if you, if, but if this is the first time you land on this page, you will see uh, this button differently. It's going to say approve here. It's going to, it's going to be approved button here. Uh, you can click that to first to authorize the smart contract. Then you will see uh, add margin here. So, because to do any to do any um, uh, derivative trading, you need to deposit margin first because it's a margin uh, it's margin trading. Okay. So since I already have some, uh, I already have some money here in my margin account, so I will just go do some trade. Okay. So let's say I want to go long one single unit of Bitcoin. Actually, um, because the multiplier here it says it's a uh, 0.0001, that one contract is corresponding to 0 0.301 Bitcoin, as it shows here, okay? So I just put one here, I click button trade. Here it, uh, it asks me to confirm, uh, confirm the details of the trading. Uh, what I'm doing is a uh, number of contracts one. Actually, let me do a little bit of larger trade. Let's do 10. Uh, okay. Number of contracts 10. And, uh, after this is a field, I will, I will have a position of 10 with, uh, in the direction of long. And this is the trade price. Okay. So that's the, that's about the current, current Bitcoin price. And okay, so I just click OK to confirm. Uh, to confirm. Oh, let me. Okay, just can you come to confirm on my MetaMask? Okay, so I'm, I'm waiting for the network to confirm this. Actually, let me uh speed up this a little bit. Okay, uh, it's confirmed. I already got the confirming message. The hmm, I think the web network's a little bit slow, so that it's not showing the latest pro position yet. All right, all right, it's loaded. So you can see, uh, yeah, just now uh, my internet was backlogged. So you can see the position. Now I have a position 10. Uh, that meaning I'm long 10 uh, contracts of a Bitcoin, which corresponds, which corresponds to a notion of value of 0 0.001 Bitcoin. Okay. So of course you can also do, uh, it, uh, you can also do Ethereum if you just switch to this. Uh, this trading symbol, uh, for ETH USD that where you can trade the perpetual futures for Ethereum. And if you switch to this, you know, um, here, you can actually trade. Actually, let me try one of this. Um, all right. This is Alice. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a similar thing. I, uh, 
on this confirm panel, I click uh, confirm. Actually, let me add some gas. So gas price, so it's, it's gonna confirm faster just for this demonstration. And let me wait for the blockchain to confirm. Actually, during that, uh, during this waiting, you can also on the MetaMax, you can just click on this little arrow here that will lead you to the this transaction page. Here you can see, okay, it says this transaction has been found on the secondary note. Okay, um, so yeah, so basically that show uh, while we're waiting. So basically that that. That show that showed you how to do trade on our uh, on the um, with their protocol. Okay, so these are how you trade. Uh, it's, a, it's actually quite similar to how you trade uh, make trades on uh, centralized exchange. So let's uh, move on to this um, to the bounty program that we're presenting here today. Um, our bounty program is about. Uh, well, like I mentioned, we are act, uh, on this Polygon hack, Hackathon. We are actually sponsor. Uh, we are sponsoring two bounty programs. Uh, two days ago, I was pre uh, I presented uh, the other one, which is GameFi uh, bounty program. If you are interested, you can uh, yeah, you can you, you can check out the the bit. You can check check out the video of uh, two days ago. Uh, but today, this one is about. Uh, Building an on-chain fund management protocol to manage funds by trading on very futures and options. So um, um, this is uh, just now I, as I showed you, right? Uh, so on dairy protocol, you can trade um, several kinds of uh, several kinds of derivatives with a number of uh, underlying underlying assets. That actually creates a uh, relatively large uh, trading universe where you can where investors can do a lot of things. Um, then on top of that, you can actually build a fund management system, meaning that uh, you can manage some somebody else, the investors' money on their behalf. Uh, if you have you, if you have some expertise. You, or you have some strategy that you can you believe you can make money from this, uh, then you can uh, make then you can make profit to somebody else. So th this is just like the fund management system in the traditional financial world, where you can set up like for example a hedge fund or or a mutual fund like that, and where you manage money from uh, for investors. So um, then there are uh, some basic roles on, on, uh, associated with this, uh, with this program. Um, so first of all, obviously there is a previous, uh, there is a investors, right? Which we can also call LP. Um, so investors are just the people who deposit their money into the smart contract uh, for the fund manager to invest. And then the, on the other side, the fund manager is the one who is managing the fund by trading perpetual futures and uh, everlasting options. So perpetual futures and everlasting options, these are the two derivatives uh, currently their protocol provides. So uh, you can manage, manage the fund by trading, uh, trading with these uh, derivatives. Or actually, uh, or, or you can do this with a combination of dairy and some other DeFi projects. For example, actually, um, um, Dodo is very interesting in this too, because uh, I was talking about I I was discussing uh, this idea about uh, about this idea with the founder of Dodo, uh, the Radar Bear. Um, he's pretty interesting uh, interested in this too. So if so if you're uh, what do you want to do is a, a combination of their protocol and some uh, spot decks, say Dodo. Then probably uh, we can jointly uh, support your project. Okay, so um, um, well, just like in the traditional setup of a, of a fund management, 
uh, we should make that um, the, the fund manager, uh, the only thing that is uh, granted, uh, so uh, the only thing that the investor grant the fund, manager, uh, the fund manager to do is to invest, to do investments on the investor's behalf. Uh, in other words, the fund manager can, cannot just move the liquidity anywhere else. Uh, actually, uh, if we are to summarize this, uh, the fund manager only have should only have like three permissions. Uh, so first thing is he could move the liquidity between this fund smart contract and the predefined trading trading places. Say if you so say if this fund is to trade uh, futures with their protocol, then uh, he can only move liquidity to. To, to trade futures on their protocol, right? He cannot move it to anywhere else. Or if this, or if the trading strategy is a combination of their protocol and Dodo, then he can uh, move the liquidity uh, either to their protocol or to Dodo, but n nowhere else. Okay, so that's the first thing. So the second thing is he or she can perform trade actions. On, on those trading places, right? Say it's associated with their protocol, then uh, he can, she can only like take long or short uh, positions uh, or uh, of the futures or options on whatever uh, trading symbols that's available there. Um, and the third thing is, um, well, I, actually with the first thing and the second thing, you would, you uh, this thing uh, can work, right? But just to uh, maybe you want to uh, make uh, make incentives to the fund managers, right? So if if somebody is a good fund manager, he um, he he you might want to give some reward to him as incentives, right? So uh, so another thing that is needed here is um, uh, you need a reward system. Uh, uh, so uh, that is associated to the third permission of the fund manager. Uh, for which he can withdraw reward just per the fund agreements, uh, say some management fee or some performance reward. Uh, he can he can withdraw no more than that. But within that agreement, he can uh, he or she can withdraw uh, his reward. Um, so to implement that, I imagine there could be this uh, basic modules like. There should be a capital management system, or uh, you, or uh, in this DeFi scenario, you can say it's a uh, it's a capital management smart contract to manage investors' fund shares, so that the investors can uh, deposit or or, or withdraw uh, withdraw, of course, with the pr either profit or loss or loss. Hopefully, there's profit. Um, so that's the first module, and also. You need a module to uh, for the fund manager to do uh, uh, this. This this can be called the investing module. Uh, so you, you need this module for the uh, fund manager to open position or op option positions with their protocol. Okay, so that's the uh, second module. And uh, of course, like the because um, the fund manager needs to be able to withdraw reward. So you need the rewarding system. For the fund manager to collect like management fee or uh, or performance reward, so but actually that is how I how I imagine this thing should be set up. Uh, well, but this is a bounty program, so uh, feel free to add any other roles uh, or modules that you think are necessary. Um, I think yeah. So that's it for today's uh, the, this bounty program that I'm presenting today. I hope I explained this. Um, so I hope I explained this proposal clearly. Um, any questions? I have a yes. quick question. Yes. Yeah. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so Alpha, so if you go to like the uh, stable coin pool in uh, Derry, is is that mm -hmm. kind of like a uh, market making kind of pool mechanism for um, for Derry, or what's what's like the like who's the market maker for 
all the like der derivative uh, on the uh, de on the dairy protocol. <coughs> Who is the market maker? Okay, yeah, uh, uh, the liquidity pool is the market maker. So the uh, trading the dairy protocol is under the AMM uh, paradigm. Okay? So AMM is uh, the so well it means automatic market making. It means uh, the liquidity pool is playing the role of the market maker. Actually, uh, if uh, specifically it means the liquidity pool is playing the role of uh, counterparty. So, well, the, the most typical AMM should be Uniswap, right? But that's for spot trading. Uh, so to carry, that, so to play the role of uh, of counterparty for spot trading means that the, the pool will hold two reserves. So token A and the token B it will hold a reserve token A and reserve token B. So if you come to the Uniswap to, uh, for the liquidity pool, you send in some token A, the, the liquidity pool will give you some token B, right? Or the vice versa, so you give token B, then the liquidity pool will give you token A. And uh, well, of course they will, it, it, it got to have a algorithm to figure out, uh, so what's the exchange rate, right? So that's what the X times Y equals the K, uh, uh, is there a fool? Um, so that, that, so that is, uh, the counterpart or in your words, the market maker. And here, uh, with their protocol is, uh, same thing, except, uh, their, their protocol is for derivative trading, right? But der for derivative trading, uh, a counterparty really means if you, uh, if you go to liquidity pool, you you you, well, you want to take a long position, then the liquidity pool will take the opposite opposite side of your de derivative, right? You know, say it's a uh, perpetual futures. If you go long, the liquidity pool will go short. That's how it works. That's how AMM works for derivative. Yeah, sure. Uh, just one more last question. So, how does it guarantee that like the market making? Uh, pool is not like losing money because I see there's like a kind of fixed uh, APY on the pools. It's it's not a guarantee. Well, it, uh, does Uniswap guarantee the LP uh, doesn't lose money? Uh, no, actually, uh, e, I would say Uniswap guarantees the LP lose money, right? Because <laughs> when you when you play when you go to uh, uh, provide liquidity on liquid pool. What he got is called per, per, impermanent loss, right? Impermanent loss. The wording here is called loss. It really means this is a, a certain. Uh, the 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 negative result is certain. Uh, you you surely you will lose something, right? That that's called loss. But here uh, on their protocol, uh, it's not called loss. It's uh it's, it's what what do you have here is really market risk. Risk, the word risk is different from loss, right? It means, uh, the result could be, uh, positive or negative, right? So, but, uh, that being said, uh, our research, based on our research, we, uh, our research results shows that in long run, the LP will be making money, uh, because it actually, uh, has several, uh, kinds of, uh, incomes. Uh, first of all, it has the trading fee. Also is collecting the uh, funding fee. Well, this because this involves some 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 uh, uh, a working mechanism of their protocol, uh, the funding fee thing. Also, it shares the remaining value of liquidated positions. And also, when the trader lose, it will uh, the the pool will be making uh, profit. Uh, but that's not but that's not a certain thing. That is that is why. Uh, the the uh, liquidity providing on their protocol is not exactly risk free, even though the risk is even though the risk is not large, but it's not risk free. Okay, great. Uh, but just now, also you mentioned there's the APY, right? But that APY is really referring to the dairy rewarding. Uh, that part is risk free, of course, because that's. Well, just now when I was talking about okay your profit, I, uh, I'm really talking about uh, the uh, pr uh, profit or loss uh, of the base token. So this pool is is uh, is trading on USDT, right? I'm talking about your profit or loss uh, of USDT. That part 
we cannot guarantee the results. Is a, we cannot guarantee the results is positive. It could be negative. So it's not risk free. But on top of that, we reward you dairy token. That part is risk free. It's, it's, it's just something additional. The APY you're talking about is, is really for the dairy re rewarding part. Okay, dairy great. Token. Yeah, sure. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Alpha, for your presentation. Uh